Hi Scorpio, welcome to another reading here for you. This is the bonus single reading. Thank you so much for all the views uh, and hopefully the past readings have helped you on your path. Uh, this is the bonus for those who have voted for the single uh, readings and for those who are stumbling upon this video. So I am going to take with this deck of cards a common energy between uh, you and a person you're dealing with or a person you will be dealing with. Uh, wait a minute. Bam, better, better, better. It's interesting. Uh, this deck, I'll take your energy. With this deck, I'll take the person you're dealing energy or you will be dealing. Page of Cups wanted to show. And this is the common energy. So I will start by taking um, Aroma's Oracle card. Ooh, two came up. Love yourself first. Stay, optimi stay optimistic about your love life. So we will go with this and past life relationship. You and this person have known each other from past life. All right, so let's start with it. I will take past, present and future energies and let's see who is showing up in your reading. Also, please do feel free to flip the energies as you resonate with them and don't force any message. All right, let's take Scorpio. All right, the fool at the bottom of the deck. Like, I'll be damned if I'll be a fool again. Seven of Pentacles for the future, Three of Pentacles for the past, past, future, but in the current, the Knight of Wands and Seven of Wands. And I feel like here for you is you are doing your best to stay away from unreliable energies. You could also be in a place where you're quite defensive and you're not taking advice from nobody. You are uh, in a stubborn kind of energy, to be honest. That's how I feel it in the current. But for the past, you have the Three of Pentacles. And for some of you, this talks about maybe you focusing on your money on your studies on your career path uh here more than marriage even though you have the hierophant at the bottom of the day maybe marriage was in the back of your head but i don't feel like uh this talks about marriage i feel like this talks more about um career and maybe this fool here talks about career you did get some marriage messages in general readings but this is something else Current, like I said, Knight of Wands, Seven of Wands, some of you are like maybe in a feisty kind of energy in the current and you want to keep away specific kind of uh, individuals. And the Seven of Pentacles for the future, I feel like here for you comes with um, growth or recreating, planting new kind of seeds patiently, not rushing into anything. So let's start here with uh, the past energies here for you. Wow. Uh, the lovers page of wands ace of pentacles uh, important choices here for you in the past and i didn't even got time to shuffle the deck uh important important uh choices here some of you have been planning for quite some time here to start to do something new to make um maybe a new company for yourself or uh, a new job enroll to a new course but important choices here on an offer you could have been given an opportunity and you took your time or maybe not took your time but you you were put in a place where you had to think and make a decision here that in the future uh was uh, meant to take you to uh into a new journey you could have been a bit skeptical in regards to this um this offer Okay, give me this phrase in that Scorpio is yes, you were quite skeptical because you look way too good to be true. Seven of Swords, Justice, and the Sun. If some of you in the past dealt with some colleagues at work, I don't know, I'm not picking up on love so far for you here, Scorpio, but I'm picking up on uh cheating, cheating into in contracts or going through legal uh, uh paper. Or this person was going through a legal procedure which was involving um scamming that but i feel like they came out successful out of it with the sun here i feel like also a situation came to to surface truth came to surface about what i don't know you know or they know i'm not sure if you know this person to be honest because i see here kind of like career path for you or a different kind of path than love 
Let's take uh, Scorpio in the card. Some of you could deal with the Libra. The Tower Page of Swords. You don't waste time. Tower Page of Swords. Um, the star in the current something yeah you were in the fence like i felt feisty energy and something you find out about something and you decided uh here i feel like this is you deciding here to tear apart um a connection because of uh wanting to progress wanting to move forward in a different way or on a different path you find out something here that you definitely didn't like it, but it was uh, meant for your spiritual development more than anything, this uh, event that happened. You could have gone through um, fights in different aspects of your life, like with friends, with family members, with colleagues, fights. This is not that much of a love uh, here reading for you, Scorpio. But I feel like a lot of healing after this unexpected information that reached to you a lot of healing happened page of swords it could be you find out something about a person here and i'm not sure oh my god the tower them too them too the first card the tower judgment emperor I feel like in both of your life, something unexpected happened. And I don't feel like you know this person yet, not even in the current, but I feel like this is like a divinely guided energy. This person lost some stuff here, but it, um, it put them in a very strong energy, like self-confident energy. I feel like this person now learned how to make better choices, better decisions. Page of Swords, you know, in both of your lives, something happened, but I feel like this is like, because you both had to evolve to make, take a step higher in your process in order for when you meet to be on the same page, to be able to give to another that, that they need so they can give you what you need and them to receive from you what they need as in partnership, but something unexpected and, and um, I feel like for them more tragic happened here with this uh, tower card, both the tower. You could also feel if this is not a new, uh, if this is a new person, you could feel the connection between you and this energy as being something that you've never experienced before. Give me, please, uh, the Seven of Pentacles uh, for the person. Mm -hmm. Now, you could meet this person through an argument, by the way. Seven of Wands in reverse, the Hangman, <laughs> Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. If you didn't meet this person, uh, and you met this person through an argument. This could be your me you're meeting the one you're falling in love with through an argument. And in the future, the seven of wands is in reverse. This person is not arguing. I like it. All right, let's see. Seven of pentacles, future, near future, Scorpio, or future energy for Scorpio. The Hierophant again at the bottom of your deck you have nine of pentacles the full eight of swords uh in reverse you are so confident and so safe you you feel safe uh in the situation eight of swords in reverse you're not overthinking here and the full is the overall energy at the bottom of this deck is the courage of taking leap of faith is the courage of moving forward is the courage of not labeling you know i feel like you are judgment free in the future in regards to maybe information that you got to hear or maybe a specific individual you your perspective or the way you see that individual or that energy is changing and this person showing up with this hangman they could come with a different perspective as well this is an energy that is changing they have temperance at the bottom of the deck and they come maybe with a very calm energy forward 
this is someone that could have learned from a very I know, you know, because stuff happened in this world that uh, story seems like the, no movie has been directed yet. You know what I mean? So I feel like this person has lived uh, some experiences that um, not, not many have heard of, you know. And they seem really lunatic uh, situations to be in or very lunatic um, things to experience. Oh, wow. So four cars came. But I want to show you this because I said like it's kind of like a divinely guided connection. Perfect timing fell on the ground. What if it's it, what if it, it isn't true? Pisces energy. And this I don't feel like they have much to do with this, but I'll say the beaver number 27 work. Helpful people. I, well, I kind of said something at work. Helpful people. What is my body telling me right now? But I want to take from the other side here for you, uh, Scorpio. You're going to find out something. Like maybe someone lied to you about this energy. You know, or you... I don't know. Let's see. Scorpio. I'll take that. Yes. Beautiful, you got um, you got a ancestors polar bear a shaman card ancestors 26 27 26 27 ancestors you're protected by the your ancestors and this takes me back again to past life time yes Scorpio this is what I have for you a very interesting uh, reading very interesting energy hopefully this helps and I'll see you on the next one bye.